So one of my subscribers wrote to me by way of email yesterday to commend me for uploading and reviewing sermons from John MacArthur. This person expressed their love for MacArthur and acknowledged how much they have learned through the years from his teachings. And that was absolutely fine. Uh, the problem came at the end of the email. In his closing, he referred me to, as he put it, one of his all-time favorite pastors who goes by the name of Louis Giglio. Louis is a well-known false teacher who said last year that George Floyd was like the second coming of Jesus Christ. Okay? So by him exposing the fact that he listens to two men who are on totally opposite ends of the spectrum, he exposed the fact that he has no biblical discernment regarding true and false teachers and thereby bringing into question his own faith. Now, I went back and forth with this man three or four times in email, and I just had to stop responding to him. He, he couldn't understand why I had a problem with Louis, even after explaining why he's a false teacher and showing evidence of the claim. He couldn't see it because he doesn't have the eyes to see, Matthew 4, 24. It takes the power of the Holy Spirit to truly be able to grasp sound preaching, but not just to grasp it as truth, but to embrace it with passion. Okay? Personally, when I'm listening to a sermon from a Tim Conway or a Vody Bauckham, they are speaking to the spirit that resides in me, the Holy Spirit. And it brings such a joy to me when I can finish their sentences while they're preaching. To those of you who are well versed in the scriptures, you know what I'm talking about. Listening to sound preaching and being able to finish the preacher's sentence or to finish the, the, the text or to finish the verse that he's referring to before he finishes it. Or to be of the same mind. Okay, We're talking about like-mindedness here. Philippians 2.2 2. To make joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and purpose. The men we are listening to should be of one spirit, preaching and teaching the same things. This is important. I have so many young people that will come up to me. J'ai vu déjà tellement de jeunes personnes qui viennent à moi. And they say, I love the way you teach and preach. Et ils me disent, j'aime la façon comme tu prêches et tu enseignes. And then they'll say, and I also love to listen to this other guy teach and preach. And I think, wow, this young person doesn't have much discernment. Because they like what I preach. They like what this other person is preaching. And our sermons totally contradict one another. <laughs> So that's not showing much discernment. Donc ça ne montre pas beaucoup de discernement. You see, young people, I want you to follow Jesus Christ. Voyez, jeunes, je veux que vous suivez Jésus Christ. And I want you to be in the will of God. Et moi, je veux que vous soyez dans la volonté de Dieu. And the only way that's going to happen is hard work. Et la seule chose comment ça va se passer, c'est en travaillant très dur. And our culture is really not given to hard work. Et notre culture, elle n'aime pas trop le travail dur. You must study the scriptures. Vous devez étudier les écritures. You must study them correctly. Vous devez les étudier de la façon correcte. You must devote your life to knowing what God has said firsthand. Vous devez dévoter votre vie pour savoir qu'est-ce que Dieu a dit en première main. Yes, we can all learn from others. Oui, on peut toujours apprendre des autres. But there's not one person on this planet who's infallible. Mais il n'y a pas une seule personne dans cette planète qui ne, fait, qui ne commet pas d'erreur. We have errors of thinking. Nous commettons des erreurs dans nos pensées. Even the best preacher. Même le meilleur prédicateur. And we have errors of conduct. Et nous commettons des erreurs dans notre façon de nous conduire. Never forget the most godly Christian still is a sinner. N'oubliez jamais que le plus saint chrétien est encore un pécheur. That's the unique thing about Christianity. C'est ça la chose très unique sur le christianisme. There's only one hero in this story. Il n'y a qu'un héros dans cette histoire. And he's not a preacher. Et c'est pas un prédicateur. He's the son.